back again with our video series of the Ruckus wireless controllers. So we talked about the different types of Ruckus wireless controllers that are available. And today's video, what we're going to be talking about is the Ruckus Virtual Smart Zone. And in particular, we're going to be looking at the Virtual Smart Zone Essentials, which is there are two types of virtual controllers. We've got the Virtual Smart Zone Essentials, and we've got the Virtual Smart Zone High Scale. Uh, with most of our customers, we're probably looking at the Virtual Smart Zone Essentials. It is a single site, or multi-site, single tenant controller, which basically means it's one virtual controller for multiple sites, but it's just the one controller with high scale where we look at managed service providers. We can have multiple virtual controllers within a single instance. But on vir Virtual Smart Zone Essentials, we can do anything from up to 100 APs, up to 1,024 APs, which is anything up to 2,000 clients or 25,000 clients. And then obviously we'd look at what we provision for those virtual machines will be dependent on how many clients and APs we can support. So today what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we can, how quick and easy it is to deploy a virtual smart zone within a VMware ESXi environment. Uh, and that's using with a basic config for 100 APs uh, with 15 gig of RAM and two vCPUs. So we decided to go for the virtual smart zone essentials. And first that we need to do is actually download the software. And that's really easy to do. With Computer World, we'd make sure that you get the right login details and you have your own Ruckers account. Or we here of our team of engineers would make sure that they could do this process for you. So you just go to the software downloads, look for the control that you're gonna be using, which is the virtual smart zone. And here we just scroll down and look for the virtual smart zone. Set the virtual smart zone. And then we can see that there's a number of versions, and we're going to be working with the latest version. So we're looking at 3.4. And we're going to be looking at 3.4 uh, for the ESXi AWS OVA image. And all you do is you click on that and start downloading. Okay, so we've downloaded our OVA template, and we now want to deploy our OVF template. Okay, so we browse for the OVA. And then we start going through the process of installing the VM. We accept the terms and conditions. Place our virtual smart zone into our Ruckus wireless folder. Making sure we go into the right cluster, and that would be obviously specific to our customers' needs. Putting ours into our demo virtual lab here, into our demo environment for storage. And then we're going to fin provision it for a disk format, which is fine. And then for the network formatting, I'm going to put it into our local demo LAN. And then we're ready to complete. And then we can power on after deployment. Now, before we power on after deployment, there's a few changes that we need to make with the virtual smart zone on essentials with Ruckus Wireless. So if we click finish, we'll create that VM, we'll pause the video and come back to it when it's created. So our VM's deployed successfully. And we can go to our VM and we need to look, actually edit some of the settings on our essentials virtual smart zone. So we click on edit virtual machine settings and what we're going to know what you will notice when you're doing your virtual smart zone install or one of our engineers are actually helping you with the virtual smart zone install is that by default you used to have three network adapters for the essentials and for the high scale ruckus controller. Those aren't actually needed when we're putting the, the ruckus controller in a, a production LAN we don't actually need the three network adapters anymore. We used to have one for control, one for data and one for management but now we have all those three data planes going through the single network adapter. So what remains to all of our customers, if you are having any issues, is make sure you remove two of the network adapters. And also, so we want to make sure that network adapters on the right demo land. We also want to look at our memory. And for all the virtual smart zone essentials running on 3.4 with the new release notes, we need to make sure it's on 15 gig of RAM and we can get away with two CPUs. And that's with a basic of 100 APs and 1,024 clients. We click OK, it will save the changes, and we're good to start powering on the virtual machine. And that's it, you've just deployed your virtual smart zone essentials. In the next videos we'll talk about how we go for our next steps of configuring the virtual smart zone essentials on the console.